So Nusantara OS latest version which is version 5.6 based on Android 13 the new version which is having the March security patch is out but why I was excited to use this custom room because this custom room is now bringing you something actually unique which I didn't got in any other custom room after using a lot of custom rooms on my device. What is that? We'll talk about that later on. First of all, the simple UI which is of course kind of underrated because it's still having a lot of customizations. With Android 12 and Android 13 updates, this was not up to the mark to be honest. You can see the device wallpaper is only one. We don't have any collection of wallpapers pre-installed like Rystroid and some other custom rooms. But in the terms of theming, this custom room still gives you a lot of features. For example, if I move on to the wallpapers and style options, you can see you have the option to customize. You have the option to enable any system icon packs from here. Like this is the one which I'm using right now. And if you talk about the fonts, we have many fonts options available. Fonts collection is just amazing. You can see there are many fonts options available. You can go and explore. And if you like any one of these fonts, you can simply apply it on your device without having to reboot your device. So this is good. This is the change. This is the first thing which we found, which we have in Nusantra West latest update, which is of course same kind of thing. But here is the major change. First of all, the settings UI. You can see the settings UI is looking insane. This is absolutely brilliant. And in the terms of uniqueness, according to me, this is actually one of the most unique custom rooms I have ever tried. The settings UI looks super good. And uh, this is of course optional. This is one of the best thing that these things are optional. So if you don't like this thing, you have the option to disable. That is a great advantage. And second major change, second unique thing is Oxygen OS style quick settings panel. This also looks amazing. Oxygen OS style, which means Android 13 based Oxygen OS or so called Color OS, which has this kind of media player. And in the left side, we have internet and Bluetooth tiles, which you can even customize, which you can add or remove the tiles from here. So this looks good. And even the status bar clock, the quick settings clock looks amazing. You have the option to customize that too. I mean, if you want that stock Android 12 or Android 13 style quick settings panel, you have the option to enable that too. Or maybe if you are not satisfied with this one too, you have the option to use the Android 11 style quick settings panel. This is great. In the previous update, I made a shape with you about that you can enable the Android 11 style quick settings panel and that is optional. But with this new addition, with this new update, they, they are bringing you the Oxygen OS style quick settings panel, which looks amazing. Amazing. So two major changes, the settings UI and the quick settings panel. And if you combine both of them, I think so. This is one of the best custom rooms right now. Of course, the things might be device specific. For example, the performance, the smoothness, those might be depends upon which device you're using, how much RAM you have, how what is the processor, and it depends upon a lot of things. But overall, this is great. If you talk about the game space, the same kind of options which you have in some other custom rooms too. And the one which I was talking about, the settings UI, grid and list is what I was using. So if I enable this grid option, this is also new. You can see the big tiles and big grid options are present here in the settings UI. Um, it's completely fine if you want to use these things. You have the option to use the AOSP style too, which is basically stock. As you can see, it's almost stock Android. So yes, it's totally up to you. If you, if you don't like that UI, if you think this is not good for you, you can use the stock UI. Or if you think the previous one which i have shared with you at the starting of the video which was grid and list if you like that one you can enable that option is present for you some notification customizations are there some options related to higher fps in games swipe to screenshot like gestures and some more things are already included with this nusantra os previous update these were things were there too but with the new update things are almost same we have some status bar customizations battery clock some icons which you can enable or disable from status bar and you have the option to add or remove or customize the status bar logo you can see at the top left you have the logo and you have the option for volti and wo wi-fi icons i don't have any sim card right now that is why you are not able to see but the icons options are present here and other things are almost same here if i talk about the default launcher one major change which i found here is now we have almost every option available in the previous update in the recent uh, app recent option there was no option at all even in the app drawer uh, other options were just kind of empty but with this new update this is very good a lot of things have been improved so if you want to install this custom room official updates official website link is available in the description 
make sure to check out goodbye